Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, in which we're playing right now as the Grabber Territory. It is 2278, the NCR is looking pretty thick, New Reno's looking blue, Vault City's huge, and so is the Vipers, and we're trying to beat up the Protectron Security Hub, which is probably a bad idea, but... Oh well, we'll see what we can do. We just made an encirclement down here. We've actually probably lost, uh, yeah, we've lost more guys than they have, unfortunately, and the A's want to come kick our butts. But what else is new? You're going to force defense because I'm not going to let this up. There you go. Cool. But we are led by diabolical debris. What you've got there, I want it. Greed and speed are virtues. Ones that the grabber's current big boss holds in abundance. They've ensured that crossing grabber territory is either dangerous or expensive, exacting, exacting heavy tolls from any trying to travel through in peace and lead many of their lighting raids that the gangs are known for. A streak of recent successes have made the Garabers and their boss rich with both caps and captured slaves, and debris has been growing in confidence all the while. Many new arrivals and arrivals have come from uh, into the area in recent years, between the 80s, 215th, and others, but rather than raising concerns, it has only made the debris greedier. One day everything the neighbors will have will belong to the boss. Absolutely. So, at this point, we're going to have to figure out how we're going to manage doing this quickly, and uh, hopefully beating up everybody in the long way. I'm going to become a melee hacker, too. With Seabert the Clown. So what we're going to do is... We're going to attack there and maybe send half you guys over here too. Maybe not. We can beat them up. We can pierce them. Um, but at the time of this recording, we have 20 combat with which I usually do 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 10, div 10 div battalions of infantry only. But we've gone with Asymmetric Warfare and we're going down the Legion or Land Auction, which uh, helped our combat with become smaller. So now I've actually added on two demo teams as well. And here are the Spec Ops teams too. So... We're going to be a very, very explosive group this time, for this campaign at the very least. Uh, why are you pointed that way? That is a good question. Um, I'd love to go this way and circle these guys and like that, but we'll have to wait and see. Can we actually do that? You might just be able to do that. Complicated circuitry. Very nice, very nice. Um, but like I said, uh, the 80s are gunning for us, and so we're going to need a gun for the 80s ourselves because they want to take our grabber territory. Which is going to basically force me to use some sort of cons commands here to make sure we don't completely die. Which kind of sucks. Um, keep helping on out. Should be able to take that, take that, take this tile, and then wrap up Bloody Springs and call it a war against them. But you never know. You go help them out. See, and they want to go to war with us next, so I'm going to do some real funky stuff to make sure that they don't completely destroy us here. Hopefully. I'm going to be a sniper, so you're a little stronger as well. There you go, there you go, and. Oh, come on! That was so freaking close, it's not even funny. Come on. Business is a booming. And then, uh, short fuse engineering. Or why not? So, we'll be doing this for a while, and then we've got to take out the 80s, or at least have the 80s be distracted, because I'll be honest, I'm not going to fight them by myself. Someone else has to fight them at the same time. Um, but we're just trying to build ourselves up to be bigger, better, stronger. We run out of space here to build factories, which sucks. And uh, we do have the followers of the Wasteland. And, and at least to let you know, technologically speaking, we're, for the most part, civilized. So, we've set it up so that Vault City, or the 80s, went to war with the Nevada Pact. So, hopefully, we can. Maybe squeeze in there a little bit, maybe take a towel or two, and uh, do all right in the end. Um, really, just want to do a little bit here, not too much. Uh, yeah, the Vault City is actually doing very, very well against these guys. Hopefully we can blow up our enemies, and it seems like they kind of can in general. It's kind of nice. Um, but as long as we take a towel or two, I'll be happy. We're actually blowing them up very, very well, though. There's quite a few demo teams on our guys here. Very nice. I'm going to keep you here at home. Nice, nice, nice. You guys do anything like that there, maybe? There are two divisions, but you do have a lot of explosive power there. Do we have at least 1%? Oh, we have 2%. Okay, that's better than I thought. Go on in. Um, honestly, yeah, honestly, might all be able to go on in, perhaps. We might be able to help out there, too. And go to Duckwater. Why not? Take that towel and surround them all. Can you guys do anything here? Maybe, yeah. Encourage a couple slavers. Uh, we can control the trade. Art of the Sack. We're really based towards this. Um, just because we do have grabbing and raids. 
The grabbers get their names through the lightning strikes they unleash on their neighbors, kidnapping not just the men, but the women and children too. The rapid raids have proven to be a headache, but they have proven to be weak on the defensive, especially as they retreat with the captured. That would be fantastic. Alright, so what do we got here? More upgrades for special forces? Oh, I think so. When you're done with that, you'll come up. Just come over here. Ta da! All I want is like a single tile. And we had a, ran out of map bar, so we forced coring on uh, Bloody Springs. We lost a like arms workshop. We lost a civvy workshop. But overall, I think that's worth it in the end. Ah, and it's a good one. Beautiful. Gonna help him out. And still a little bit of manpower left. At least for now. Focus fire is good. Um, you know what? I just imagine if you put more than one demo team on any company, it's just a bunch of grenades. Just chucking grenades left and right. Uh, hopefully we'll get at least a little something here. Because after that, I do want to go to War of the Sky Reavers, and then go to War of the White Legs, because the White Legs actually have... Do they have a trade node around here? I thought they had a trade node. Maybe not. Oh, well, maybe they don't. Where's the, where's, where's the clearest, clearest, nearest trade node? So, down there, New Vegas, of course, is 215th uh, over there. Oh, yeah, it's going to take a while. We have, might have to beat up the Nevada back later on. Go out the Baron's Irie, maybe, or maybe New Canaan, perhaps even. Yeah, we'll see what happens. No guarantee for everything, or anything. But, still. Oh, we snuck it in there. Okay, so we should be able to get more. Uh, Percentage points. 13%, not bad. So, yeah. Spread out! Take as much territory as you possibly can. Like, quite literally, take as much territory as you can, because that'll give us a higher war score percentage. Then we can take more stuff. I would like any more stuff. Stuff is fun. Stuff is good. Stuff makes us more rich. Down here, we need to buy more guns, but we can't. Promise of loot's not bad. Culture simulation's not bad. We did the force coring earlier. 150 political power is pretty good for it. And we got him! Okay, so let's see if we can take anything. Eureka wouldn't be bad. A Eureka? Oh. I do want McGill. Can we take that much? Can we take more? All right. That is much more than I thought we would actually be able to take. I hope that no one demands this from us, though. That'd be quite unfortunate. And I like how the boards are kind of set up here, too. Uh, we're missing guns. Quite a few guns, actually. I do that. We can go all the way to the bottom. But we have enough resources for everything else. Not bad overall. I just hope they don't come for us next, because I would like to go to war with these guys. Area 51. Alright, so peace over war. More political power, you lose weekly war support though. Cultural simulation, honestly, what we're going to do, that's supposed to cost 30, but it didn't cost us 30. It hurts our resistance target, but gives us daily, better daily compliance, which is also very good. money do we have currently? 500? That's not bad. You know what? We're going to go and do this. Tax Vault City. Vault Cups Economy. You see some care package. Military signing bonuses. Yep. That, in my opinion, is worth it. I'm going to have both too. Oh! Explosion in understanding. Is that... Oh, so, if you're going to please go ahead. That's be very good, too. Um, actually... You know, let's get it done anyways. Why not? And chem companies. Keep working on this. You get more daily compliance from them, too. Which is very good. We already have outsider battalions, which is very good. Toothpick. That's not bad. You know, we always more infantry equipment, but we're going to go with this one so we can build faster. It's always good to build faster. Can we do anything here, too? Well, they immediately start attacking us. Kind of what I wanted. 
five divisions up here or three divisions they might break us here maybe maybe not so well, this is the next main goal after this is the white legs and then new canaan and the tar walkers i think we'll expand more to utah for this one so uh, i think i'll see you when we have these guys pretty much defeated so here we're at i wanted to take out the vipers but then the ncr wanted to go for them the ncr said that we were going to go to war with they would go to war with us if we didn't give them the territory up here from the 80s so i gave it to them just because well I don't want to war with them, and uh, we can still continue expanding further and further east anyways, especially since the White Legs have lost well, about 8,000. About an equal amount between them and the Tar Walkers, that's kind of different. Um, so, with them on a two-front war, we can take them out, and they take out the Tar Walkers eventually, take out the Sorrows, Crazy Horns, Dead Horses, definitely want to take out New Kingdom, push all the way to the Baron's Zyri perhaps, and just get more trade notes, you know. Uh, that being said, uh, we got to keep pushing. Keep pushing, push, 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 and pushing, and so that we can do very well. Uh, we already have Area 51 core. We forced the coring on that one, which is good. And because the NCR took this territory away from us, we don't have to deal with that anymore. So we're going to start slowly coring territories all around here. Nevada and whatnot. Um, trade deal. Uh, well, we don't need manpower as much. We can grab this one, I suppose. So, we're already 2281, of course. How about Frisco City? I've got only 70% done, so we can't take that much. Literally, like, only two tiles. Oh, maybe three. Nice. And, uh, in all honesty, better take them out before anyone else gets to them, too. They don't have a lot of manpower. They got quite a few divisions, though, so. We'll be trying to deal with the Tar Walkers next. So, core more stuff around here. And is this the one for compliance? No, is this one? This one's for slightly more compliance growth. So we're looking okay all around here. Um, 97% is not bad. I think it's just because resistance is so flippin' high. But we'll go to war with them in the next episode and we'll see what they're like. And then we'll push up further east, like I said. But if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see what else we can do with them grabby territories. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.